Ongleka runs a guest house just a stone's throw away from the swimming pool in Butterworth. She says since the project was neglected, criminals have made it their mission to destroy the facility and the lives of people from surrounding areas. It affected me negatively while still con con constructed because it was left a... Uh, with, with water in the pool that affected the guests with mosquitoes. It also affected us eh, 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 on crime. John Muir left Zimbabwe 35 years ago to move to Butterworth. He says the swimming pool is a reflection of the broken town. 35 years ago it was a bustling, busy town. Today it's, it's a shadow of what it was. Everything has gone, the roads have gone, the health, the hospitals, the policing has gone. It's, it's not a good place to live anymore. Um, municipality is a disaster here. The Eastern Cape Department of Sports, Recreation, Arts and Culture says it handed over the facility to the Muma local municipality before it was even vandalized. The department says it doesn't know where it will receive funding to once again refurbish the facility. We no longer have a budget for the pool, so we'd have to go to provincial treasury, we'd have to look within savings or redirect other uh, funds from other projects to try and complete, because to have 13 million to a department like ours, very underfunded, 13 million is a lot of money. The department says it has spent over and above what was expected and that the municipality should have taken more responsibility for ensuring that the people of the town enjoy a world-class facility. Ronald Masinda, Butterworth in the Eastern Cape.